Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about the concept behind diapedesis. It is also known as extravasation of blood cells. Now, diapedesis is the passage of blood cells through the intact capillary wall, and this process is known as diapedesis. Typically, neutrophils or monocytes they undergo diapedesis. In order to understand the concept behind diapedesis and context behind this concept, we need to understand when does it occur, where does it occur, and how does it occur. But before that, hit the subscribe button because I provide a lot of these kind of videos which are super helpful for biology students. Now, let's bring out a context. And this is your skin, and let's say you are pricked by a rusty nail. And along with the rusty nail, there are a lot of pathogens such as bacteria and other harmful pathogens enter your body, right? Enter your area under the skin. So, under the skin, which is just like a physical barrier, there are many patrolling police officers, which are macrophages or dendritic cells. So, they would immediately notice that somebody invaded and they would try to go there and try to fight the situation. For example, the macrophage would engulf the pathogen and try to break down the pathogen and display some of these pathogenic antigens on the top of class 2 MHC molecules as macrophages are professional antigen presenters. So, after detecting this, they would also secrete some alarming signals. These are called cytokines, which would attract other macrophages to the nearby region or other patrolling police officer to the nearby region such that together they can fight the situation in a better manner. So this is like calling for a backup. Okay, some of them would also go to the nearby lymph node and thereby activating other components of the immune system. Now, they secrete Cytokines. This cytokine has a lot to do with other blood, blood cell types, such as neutrophil. So let's say this is a blood capillary which is situated just under the skin, and we would see what change has happened at the neutrophil in response to that pathogen invasion. And this change is actually conveyed by the signals secreted by these antigen presenting cells. Now, out of many things, first of all, the neutrophils which are rolling across the blood capillary, they would encounter E-selectin. Now, E-selectin is basically expressed by capillary endothelial cells, which are activated or activated by any kind of cytokines, such as inflammatory cytokines. Now, in response to that, our neutrophil would express a glycoprotein known as S-lex, which is a silated glycoprotein, and that kind of interacts with the E-selectin. And this molecular interaction slows down the rolling process of this neutrophil. Furthermore, this neutrophil would express LFA1 or leukocyte factor 1, which would interact with the surface glycoprotein known as ICAM, which is in turn present in the endothelial cells. Now, these interaction in a combined fashion would ensure that neutrophil does not roll anymore it becomes stagnant to a particular location. So the neutrophil would halt at that particular location. Now there are sudden changes happening to the capillary wall as well. In this particular case, when there is no sign of inflammation, the capillary wall is intact and there is almost no gap between these two capillary endothelial cells. But when there is inflammatory cytokine secretion, this really affects the capillary endothelial cells and the tightness of packing of these capillary endothelial cells are altered. Now you can see there are a lot of gap in between that and these neutrophils would undergo cytoskeletal rearrangement such that they can squeeze their way through out of these capillary and can enter the tissue space. So they would really try to squeeze through their way and once they manage to go out of the blood vessel, they would go and reach the tissue space. This process by which they can first roll slowly, get stagnant to a particular location and followed by that using cytoskeletal rearrangement signals they can move out of the blood vessel is known as diapedesis or otherwise popularly known as neutrophil extravasation. Now the question is once the neutrophil is out of this blood vessel what would happen to it? Now the neutrophil would experience several signals which are actually cytokine or chemokines. Now, chemokines are working like attractants, which would attract these neutrophil and allow it to migrate 
along its gradient. Now the neutrophil would reach the site of infection when there are a lot of pathogens. Now the neutrophil would provide a further backup to our petroleum police officers which are like macrophages and the dendr dendritic cells. Now these are the pathogens which are now to be encountered by the neutrophils. The neutrophils try to engulf the pathogen and after engulfing the pathogen they can neutralize the pathogen and actually there are many other ways by which neutrophil can uh, help the immune system to fight against a particular pathogenic invasion. In order to know more about neutrophil and innate immunity, you have to watch my other videos. But for now, if you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you. And do let me know in the comment, how do you like my videos? Your positive feedback would give me so much motivation to make more such videos. Thank you.